because sometimes we're Hispanic or Latinos, we think that we should just keep quiet because we're afraid or we're scared. But speak up. Um, you have a voice, so use it. A family looking for answers from school leaders after a violent fight sends a student to the hospital. This all happened outside Ferndale Middle School in High Point late last week. Fox 8's Gerald Matthews spoke to the young man and his family and explains why they believe he was targeted. The young man who goes to this school says he didn't want his face shown out of retaliation. He said the kids that attacked him initially were going after his cousin who started another fight first. But he was nowhere to be found, so they went after him. What should be a safe place for all Ferndale Middle School students wasn't for this eighth grader at the end of the school day. A person started saying who jumped and who jumped and then like, I think somebody started putting me and then I was like, what? And then out of nowhere, they just started pushing me. They pushed me to the ground and they started hitting me. But he says he wasn't the initial target. My cousin jumped him, so I think he took his anger out on me. These pictures show the bruising and marks the students left on his face and body after kicking and punching him for several minutes. I just feel, I don't know, I just feel pissed off. Yeah. Why? Because they jumped me for no reason because I didn't do nothing to them. Shocked and hurt. Sandra Martinez translate how their mother feels about what happened. Her heart breaks knowing that her son was in a school and that these kids came and assaulted him because that's what it was. It was someone, two kids, not just one, assaulted him, severely injured him. There was like only two, but I didn't get to see because I was, I got knocked out. He says while they were jumping him, he dropped to the ground. These hospital documents show just how bad that fight got. He was treated for a facial injury and a concussion that led to a loss of consciousness. His family says they're thanking God it wasn't worse. This needs to stop. Violence in schools needs to stop. It could have gotten worse, and it could have been worse. Luckily, it wasn't. Sandra says school officials have yet to get in touch with the family and that she's hoping to hear back soon. She has this message to share with all parents. Look out for the schools that you're taking your kids to. Um, be aware of their surroundings, of what is going on in the schools, and speak up. The students involved in that brawl were suspended from school, and police records show that they are facing assault charges. In High Point, Daryl Matthews, Fox 8 News.